Senator Paul, uh, income inequality has been rising in the United States. 50 years ago, for example, the average CEO of a big corporation in this country earned 20 times the average salary of one of his or her workers. Today, that CEO earns about 300 times the average salary of a worker. Does it matter at all that the gap between the rich and everyone else is widening? Absolutely, and I think that we ought to look where income inequality seems to be the worst. It seems to be worst in cities run by Democrats. <laughs> Governors of <laughs> states run by Democrats and countries currently run by Democrats. So the thing is, let's look for root causes. But I would also say, lay some blame at the, the feet of the Federal Reserve. I think the Federal Reserve has made this problem worse. By artificially keeping interest rates below the market rate, average ordinary citizens have a tough time earning interest, have a tough time making money. They're actually talking now about negative interest. The money as it's created through quantitative easing or other means tends to start out in the big banks in New York. And because we're now paying interest for them to keep the money there, much of that money has not filtered out into the economy. So what we're finding is there is increasing income disparity and income inequality. We also find that as the Federal Reserve destroys the, the value of the currency, what you're finding is that if you're poor, if you make $20,000 a year and you have three or four kids and you're trying to get by, as your prices rise or as the value of the dollar shrinks, these are the people that are hurt the worst. So really, we need to re-examine whether we, not, we want a Federal Reserve that's involved so much in determining interest rates. We also need to look at root causes as to what caused the housing boom and the housing collapse. But the bottom line is, if you want less income inequality, move to a city with a Republican mayor or a state with a Republican governor. Thank you, Senator.